let's uh, see in this video now how to use uh, maven and create a proper uh, html report for our project so we said that uh, in the last video we will create generate a proper html report so for generating html report uh, we can use uh, a plugin from um, pl pl plugin from maven called maven surefire uh, so if i just search Maven Surefire HD uh, Surefire Report Reporting Plugin. Go to the usage, and you can see this is one of the plugins that you can use to create a Maven Surefire report. Uh, and it will give you a report like this when you run the Maven site. So, Maven site is one another life cycle run and once your tests are all run, uh, run you can run this mvn site and generate a report let's see how to configure that in our project as you can see over here this is the uh, reporting plugin that you need to use but before that uh, we need to use actually uh, so if we go back to the form let's configure this form there are a couple of plugins that we need to use first one is you have to add uh plugins sorry for that uh, so that's a tag plugins inside plugins you can mention all the You have to give the build configuration so inside that you will specify that's why it was throwing another just uh, do the build tag yeah so inside the build tag we need to specify the plugins you need to mention yeah so it shows plugins inside that you need to mention each of the plugin that you need so the first plugin uh, will be So in, to mention uh, what plugin to take, you have to, as, a, as we saw before, given three details. One is the group ID. The first one we need is Maven site plugin, uh, Maven Shofar plugin, which will let you create the report and all the stuff and also run the test. So to get that, you can type in org dot bash a Maven plugins. That's a group. Uh, let's first add Shofar plugin and if you want to find the version just do a control space tell you what is the latest version just select the latest version so that is the first plugin maven surefire now let's get the second plugin that is in group id same it's all part of uh, maven plugins so yeah automated game maven site plugin because i have used it before just select the latest version so you brought in two plugins that we need to run the report and JUnit test. <coughs> Surefire lets you do a lot of configuration in your uh, test project. So it's a very mandatory one. Also you need site plugin to generate our report. And now uh, we already have one JUnit plugin, but we need one more or uh, the JUnit actually the the, the uh, since you're using JUnit Jupyter we need uh, the Jupyter engine as well so Jupyter engine and just select the latest version so you have J, uh, JUnit Jupyter API and the engine which actually lets you run all the tests properly and the two plugins so now if you do a clean let's remove all the reports let's run the tests whatever test is there one test and the test is run successfully now create click on site and it should create the report and if 
you go to the site right you can see a lot of reports have been generated if you go to, if you open it with chrome you should be able to see the report so it generated a report but doesn't have uh, the JUnit test in there so to get the JUnit test you need to do one more thing you need to mention the report uh, plugin that we saw earlier uh, so let me just open that up mm, yeah so we saw so we told in the beginning we need to get this plugin in there so we need to copy this reporting configuration again you can just type in I mean just to keep it simple I'll just copy it from here and paste it under the build it should be outside the build just mentioning what it should be the reporting if I say this if I again run the site it should give me a better report Let's open the report again and on the reports show fire report. You can see uh, I try and one test, it's hundred percent success rate. What's the time it took? Some milliseconds. Uh, telling the name of the test. If there was a package name to tell you package name also. So this is a basic test with a basic HTML report. You can show it to anyone without any uh, attendance. It's a very nice report. And yeah, that's it. That's how you report a basic and uh, generate a basic test report. Next video, we'll see how to write more tests, how to make our tests more robust and generate the report and see everything in there. That'll be the base of our framework that we are going to build uh, in the coming videos. Thank you. That's all for me today.